Hey everyone, Dozer here from GG Gamer. I've had a few people ask me recently how I managed to acquire my uh, recent Dreamcast download. Uh, so I wanted to go on ahead and give everybody a quick little tutorial of where to get the files and how to get a Dreamcast installed on your PC for backup purposes only, of course. So what you need to do here is head over to code.google.com slash p slash null dc and I'll go ahead and provide some links down in the comments section for you guys on second thought and here on the left under downloads you'll want to grab the top one that says null dc 104 r136 so you'll go ahead and click and download that and while that one is downloading hit this other second link I've provided for you that takes you to the ISO zone and you can get the free downloaded file of the hacked region free null DC BIOS and get that downloaded and then once you acquire both of those you'll head into your downloads folder and as you can see they're both right here so then what you want to do after you download them is open up the null DC RAR and you'll see these files in here this is the actual emulator itself so then I'm going to extract to desktop but I'm gonna make a new folder and let's go ahead and just extract it into the new folder there and then we'll open up the null BIOS the region free BIOS here and we'll extract that to the desktop as well and then as you can see we've got this folder and the BIOS folder here so now you want to open up the new folder and you'll see that there's a folder named data here so then you want to open up your BIOS folder Oops. and all of these files right here you're just gonna copy these files over and paste them into the data folder and then once you copy and paste those you can just get rid of that file no longer needed and then we'll go back here and you'll hit null DC win 32 release no trace and your Dreamcast is now up and running so that's all it really takes to get the emulator itself running and then from inside the emulator as you can see you can select your various plugins if you want to use an Xbox 360 control on your PC to play it you want to change the port A top box to null DC controller win hook dark maple devices and then under that switch it to null DC VMU Logitech friendly version dark maple devices and that will enable you to go under maple right here and then you'll be able to see keys configured for player one on this one because I just installed it for you guys but if you head over to mine that I already had installed you can see that when I fire mine up and go into my config options I have my 360 pad already installed so it's really simple to just go ahead and change those few plug-in settings and it'll automatically read your 360 control and then what you want to do when you get your games is as you can see here when I downloaded the Project Justice ISO it extracted into multiple parts and it took me a second to figure out what I needed to do here which one was the actual file all you need to do is open part one dot rar and extract the dot cdi file that is contained within there and i just threw it in its own little project justice folder right here and that's all it took to get that going uh... you don't even need parts two through nine i haven't experienced any issues or used any of those files so as you can see i'm gonna fire up my dreamcast here and then go under file to normal boot and select the destination of your game that you want to play and your Dreamcast will automatically start running and boot up from that game Let's see. 
choose your display and as you can see once that auto load pops up the null DC emulator even gives you your own VMU screen here which in this particular game the VMU isn't interactive in any way just shows a project justice logo but I'll go on ahead and run a quick round of this game just to show you guys it still runs pretty smooth and the save data and everything actually does work because I recently beat a quick story mode on here and it unlocked this character for me and it saved him ever since I've had no problems with losing any of my files or anything like that and it runs really smooth uh, you might see a little bit of choppiness during my gameplay here and that's simply because of my recording device that is running so once my recording device is shut off and everything it runs just as smooth as the original Dreamcast and I couldn't be happier to have some of my games backed up on here easier to play don't have to burn out my old Dreamcast anymore and we can just get right into this game actually running really smooth while I'm recording kinda surprised so there you have it folks just nailing down a little bit of Dreamcast totally fun to play this is one of my favorite games ever so <laughs> And there you have it, folks. So let's go on ahead and finish this chick off real quick. And I hope you guys enjoyed downloading the Null DC emulator. And happy gaming, folks. Remember, these emulators are for backup purposes only. So no screwing around. All right, gamers. I'll talk to you all later. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, everybody. Late. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And sign up now at ggamer.com.